This is the Video Game Votary. Show your support and hit subscribe right now. What's up, Video Game Votary Vanguard? It's your boy, the Video Game Votary here. So, I've been kicking around an idea in my head and I couldn't really lock in on a decision as far as my gaming collection and what I wanted to do. But uh, last week I came to a decision. You guys want to find out what that decision is? Sit back, subscribe, catch the vibe. Find out what decision I made as far as regarding my collection right now. Alright guys, so we're back. So as I said in the intro, I've been kicking around the ideas in regards to, in my collection, uh, decision I've been kind of inadvertently doing, but didn't actually lock in on it until recently. So, that decision is this. I decided just last week that I wanted to go for a complete North American Wii U collection. Um, that's something I've been, again, been kicking around for a while, and i inadvertently been looking for games and kind of paying more attention to Wii U games versus other uh, consoles, so to speak. And then, especially with GameStop, they're actually still having their 4 for 10 sale. I picked up a lot of games. With, we're go, we're going to go through those, and there's so many to go through. It'll probably be in parts. But more recently, after I decided that I was going to do that, I made my focus as far as the 4 for 10 deals to gear more towards the Wii U console, especially while they still got their sales, to try to get as many games as possible. So, uh, starting off with, I had maybe 15 to 20 Wii U games, and then once I decided I wanted to go for a complete Wii U North American collection, um, I had my 4 for 10 sale, which I kind of had stopped because I accumulated a certain amount of games, and I was just like, all right, I'm kind of over that, and then I was kind of seeing the same games for $4.99 and under. You're not going to get but so many decent games or whatever, but... Um, they still had a sale going on, so I decided to find each of the Wii U games that were $4.99 and under. And I was able to obtain all but about three or four of those titles, and I wasn't able to find. And I got that list by going on the GameStop app um, and refining my search results to specifically the Wii U console and changing how it sorted from ascending order. So it started beginning, so I was able to make myself a list as far as what games were four ninety nine and under. Now I got my complete list from my buddy Steve Wright Jr. Thank you for that. Uh I basically talked to him briefly in a text and decided I told him I was thinking about going for Wii U set and I believe he's working on his third one. So um he sent me a list and from what I can see it has 164 titles. So two as as I film this video right now I think I have around 68. Two are complete and box sealed. Um, those are being Skylanders, Imaginators, Starter Kit, and um, the Amiibo Festival. I also got that. And I got those dirt cheap. I'm talking, they were both less than $3 completely sealed. As a matter of fact, they're right here. So I'll show them to you real quick. Just because it's right here. This is the Skylanders, Imaginators. Wii U set it's complete comes with three Skylanders Amiibos or whatever they call those things and uh, it comes with the game that's sealed and then you got the Amiibo Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival this is also sealed now you guys when you go looking for these games you got to go and really get acquainted with your stores that's something that I've been talked about in my video before last when I was talking about how to obtain free games um, so I'll link that as well probably drop a card in there and also link it in the description get acquainted with your local game shops especially because <clears throat> i told the store manager at my local game shop which is less than five minutes away from the house that i was going for a complete wii u set so when i said that to her she went in her drawer and that's when she seen the animal festival uh meetable sealed she told me that she had it now if i hadn't asked for that i would have never known that they had that behind the desk so that's one of those things where one of my top five ways to get free games, all my, you know, time of trying to collect and things like that came into play. So I appreciate her and I appreciate that. And again, that was less than three bucks. And then when I was going, I went to so many game shops just this past week just to try to lock in some of these four for ten deals. And when I found the Skylanders Imaginators, that was actually, some of those are up high up on 
like uh, shelves that go around the store. So you also got to look up there too because they're not necessarily going to say anything unless you ask for it. And another thing, you know, you want to get acquainted and utilize your pro membership, which is only $14.99 a year. It's because a couple of games came in these generic um, cases, which I'm not a fan of. I like to try to get them complete. So um, I'm able to, especially at my local store, since I know her, the store manager there, I'm able to go in there and swap out these generic cases and get the original cases. Nine times out of ten, they don't have any issue with you doing that. They they try to aim to keep their customers happy. And I try to keep everything as much as I can to GameStop because I'm a firm believer in them and I support them as much as possible. So they had no problem uh, switching out a couple of game cases that I actually uh, had the generic ones. And they had the, good, um, the actual ones for the game to complete my game, so to speak. And it was another uh, situation where um, I tried to keep them on me. But um, I was running around, I had training for work, and I had uh, work all, you know, the past week, and I'm trying to run to these different game stops. And I left the games home, so I went to a certain location that I wasn't familiar with. But they had two game cases that I was actually looking for to replace these default cases. And I went in there, I was like, hey, um, you know, if I need to, I'll buy these games, but I really just want the case, and I'm just going to return them. So he actually pulled up my account, he said, well... You know, you come in here a lot, you spend a lot of money, you're a pro member, I'll go ahead and give them to you. So that's the type of relationship you'll establish, even if it's not on a personal level, when you get to know um, people at GameStop, but also with your account uses, and they can see the points that you accumulated over a lifetime, and then also most recently. So he's seen that I've gone there a lot. So he was like, all right, well, I'll give them to you. I just didn't want to give it to some obscure collector that never shops in here and just wants to come in here and get cases to complete their games for the collection so i definitely appreciate them i can't recall which store because like i said i've been to a ton of them over the past week so um that's just another way you know just um by me not knowing it personally but utilizing gamestop in my account they were able to see that i'm a regular customer and i spent a lot of money with those guys so they gave me you know two cases for free so now i got two spare cases just in case um, and another thing I was able to take advantage of, um, a couple stores, um, would have, you know, three games or two games as, as opposed to four games of four ninety nine and under. So I was able, I would have to, in order to get the Wii U copies of the games that I wanted for $2.50, I would have to either get two other games from a different platform for four ninety nine and under or pay the regular price of four forty nine or four ninety nine or whatever the cost was. So what I would do is I would either buy two or I would buy two and then get one or another console, etc. Basically to get the four so I could get my price. So what I did a lot of times if I let's just say I only find two Wii U games, I would buy those at regular price. I keep my receipt and if I go to another store or find another two Wii U games at another store, I would return them and they would re-ring them and put all four together to give me the four for 10, which is pretty cool of GameStop to do that. And actually, by the time it was all said and done, when I went um, probably this past Friday, I actually got money back in my pocket because I went to a few stores just on the way home. And I actually got money back because I spent more, you know, paying regular price. So GameStop is not as bad as what everybody's making them out to be. Trust me, they have helped me out a whole lot as far as my collection and, you know, getting good deals. Then I also added another game that was actually outside of that 4 for 10, which matter of fact was Mario Tennis for the Wii U. I got that game. Um, it was $13.49, I believe, and I had points. So I had a reward sitting there that I got a chance to get $9.99 off of one item. So I was able to get that game for $3.49. So just keep in mind those are all ways that you can use and utilize to build your collection or get things that you want. Um, another way I was able to do that, that I just kind of, uh, got went to, and I wish I had known a long time ago, especially when I got larger purchases with larger, larger amount of money. Um, they always ask you at the ring up, I know they ask you about the warranty, which I never get because a lot of times, like, especially with this, it's more so for the collection. Some games I'm going to play some like Barbie. I have no, um, desire to play that game. I'm just going for the complete set. Um, they'll also ask you if you want to donate. Now, 
if you donate, even if it's a dollar, it doubles your points. So on top of if you're a pro member, where you get, I think it's double or triple the points, you'll double that if you donate a buck. So that's something else to think about where you can utilize your points and build those points up and get 20 to 25 dollars off of one item, which is really good for some of those higher price Wii U games, especially like their first line titles, AAA titles, Zelda, Mario, and things like that. You can get those relatively cheap by utilizing your points. So that's another thing to keep in mind too. So um, again, there's some couple titles that are very hard and rare to find. For instance, one being Devil's Third. Another one um, being, uh, I think it's called The Unwritten Tales 2. Those are a few uh, obscure games that are kind of just few and far between and very hard to find. So after I accumulated the majority of the $4.99 and under games, I was actually looking on the different GameStop ones for those games, which I didn't find any. And I was also looking for some that I don't normally see because I kind of got an idea because I normally look in the Wii U section anyway. Again, even before I decided to collect, I would look in that section and try to... Um, just see what they got and then so I got an idea of what games I see more regularly so I'm not in a hurry to necessarily get them right away I was looking for the games I don't see like that so it's a couple games that I did pick up so right now I believe we are at 68 titles they are a total of 164 North American titles and I'm not sure if that includes different variations I'm not really pressed about the different variations I just want to get a complete set so if you guys see anything out in the wild that are rare, I'm going to try to link them in the description because I can't remember them offhand. And <clears throat> again, I'm not super familiar with the collection. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of referencing to Steve Wright since he's on his third one, so he knows exactly what's what. And he's also, hopefully he hooks me up, hook a brother up, man, um, that he's found three sets or he's on his third set. So he knows where to look and where to find them. And also with... Um, some boxes. I'll link those in the description as well as far as ones that I don't have the actual boxes to complete my set. So I appreciate the Vanguard's help. So we're going to end the episode on that note. As you guys know now, we're on the hunt. That is my main focus right now as far as collecting. I'm not really doing anything else but focusing on Wii U. Um, so if you guys find any Wii U games in the wild, hit me up. You know where to find me on all social media platforms at the Video Game Votary. Um, also, I just want to thank the Vanguard for continued support, continue watching, hit the, hit the like button, subscribe and share. Also, check out the Video Game Voting Podcast, available on all podcast platforms. Um, and your boy got a birthday coming up this Thursday, so I want to show your boy some love. I know it's a lot of stuff about e-begging, but it'd be cool if I could get all my subscribers and viewers cash at me a dollar. I ain't asked for much. I ain't asked you to send me no games unless you want to donate, but I'm not asking you for that. I work and I grind hard to get everything that I got, so I don't mind hustling for it. But you want to cash out your boy, November 14th is my birthday. So shout out to all y'all. Just want to thank y'all again for your continued support. Video Game Votary, we out. Thank you for watching. Follow me on all social media platforms at Video Game Votary.